Good day. Welcome to Citrix Zen Desktop 7.6 Getting Started Series. My name is Faisal and I'm doing this video series for my website itsense.com. On my website you will find several video series covering different topics and all video series are absolutely free. It's my two cents of contribution into this huge treasure of IT world. So please do visit my website and do subscribe my channel for future updates. All right. So what I would like to cover in this series, uh, this series will be mostly hands-on. It will be good reference for those people who wants to set up Citrix Zen Desktop 7.6 site quick and they want to implement this in shorter time possible this will also be good for those people who wants to install test lab and follow along and for those people who wants to do proof of concepts for their customers or for their company doesn't matter whatever your objective is uh, you will find these video series very effective uh, even you can use this video series to deploy Citrix Zen Desktop in your company. The only difference is here I'm doing it on a minor scale. In your company you will have it on a bigger scale and most likely you may have, you know, most of components redundant like, uh, for example, delivery controller redundant, redundant storefronts and highly available database. But overall concepts are same. However, I would like to, uh, as I said, this is a hands-on video series, but I would like to give you brief introduction about Citrix Zen desktop components. And then a short comparison for those of you who are familiar with VMware Horizon View VDI. So it will be easier for you to grasp. And then we will move to our favorite part, which is hands-on. So let's get started. So these are the components involved in Citrix Zen Desktop 7.6 site deployment. And the first one is Delivery Controller. Delivery Controller. Delivery Controller is the brain. This is the engine or main component of Citrix Zen Desktop. What it does, it provides or it performs application and desktop distribution. You basically, uh, what you do, you publish your applications through delivery controller. You create desktop pools using delivery controller and then delivery controller interact with your underlying hypervisor and create those VMs for you. It's also managed user and group access means you once you publish your application or desktop you can assign like which user and group can access those resources or those desktops or applications you do it you do this through delivery controller delivery controller also handles communication with the storefront which is a front end where client connects it's also handles communication with hypervisor as well as database and without delivery controller, you cannot have Zen desktop site. You have to have at least one delivery controller. In production environment, you may have, or usually have more than one delivery controller for high availability. The storefront, this is the front end where clients connects the endpoint. I'm not talking about external communication. I'm not talking about net scalar deployment. I'm talking about internal communication. Let's say you have pin clients internally in your network, or even I have fat client, but I'm using Citrix receiver uh, to connect to virtual desktops. Whenever we configure Citrix receiver, which is a client software from Citrix, and specify uh, the URL to connect, that URL is basically a URL that points to storefront. So storefront is the communication endpoint. It's the point where clients connects to. It is responsible for authenticating users to Zen desktop and Zen app resource sites. 
It's also managed desktop and application stores that the user has access. Once the user gets authenticated, storefront uh, communicates with delivery controller to know which desktop and applications users is entitled to. And storefront can provide or communicates with Citrix receiver, delivery controller, and Netscaler. In case if you have an external access, then your Citrix receiver connects to Netscaler. The client using Citrix receiver connects to Netscaler and then Netscaler redirects them to storefront. In production environment, typically you will have one or more, or more than one storefront for redundancy. Uh, database, well, Mm -hmm. Here we use Microsoft SQL Server database and database as, yes, you're right, it stores all our configuration for Zen Desktop. In addition to that, it stores all session and state information. Uh, database is very critical. If your database is down, uh, new connections cannot be made. Existing connections can continue until they log off or disconnect. After that, they won't be able to connect back. So database is very critical. You have to have a highly, you have to make sure you have a highly available database. The studio or Citrix Studio, this is the universal interface which you can use to configure and manage your Zen desktop and Zen app environment. No two uh, interfaces. By using single interface, you can configure Zen app, means you can publish your applications, you can create policies, as well as you can create and manage your Zen desktop, means you can configure your delivery controller and you can configure your storefront using Citrix Studio. Citrix Directory, it's a web-based console, basically for your help desk people, or people who provide support to user, or users. It allows them to monitor and manage sessions, see uh, which sessions are on, uh, what applications are open, how much is the consumption, and they can shadow session, they can join user sessions and provide and troubleshoot or provide support to user as well as troubleshoot sessions. So this is the console for basically day-to-day -day monitoring and managing sessions. And licensing server, of course. Licensing server, as the name said, it basically stores licensing information. When you install Zen Desktop, you can use 30-day eval license. Uh, however, you can extend this by registering with Citrix.com and get a 90 days evaluation. Or in case if you have purchased Zen Desktop production license, like Platinum or Enterprise or whatever, license that you have, you can install that licensing server and you will be ready to go. But for testing environment, uh, definitely uh, evaluation license will allow you to test all the features of uh, Zen Desktop. Citrix receiver, this is the client part. This is the client software. This is the client that we use, that's used by client machines. Uh, it could be Windows machine, it could be Apple, or Mac, it could, it could be uh, Android, because it's a universal software. You have Citrix Receiver for Windows, Citrix Receiver for Android, Citrix, Citrix Receiver for Mac, and as well as you have some uh, thin clients, hardware thin clients that comes with embedded uh, Citrix Receiver that supports, let's say, the, the HDX or ICA protocol, which is the main protocol for Citrix. So Citrix Receiver, basically, it's a software that you use to access desktop, publish desktops and published applications. It provides secure connection, because by default, it's configured to use HTTPS, and high-performance delivery, uh, because it's used ICA or HDX protocol. Then we have a virtual delivery agent. This is the agent or software that we installed on virtual desktop or physical desktop. Uh, in other words, this is the software that we install. This is the software that we install on master image so that when we provision 
more desktop. Each desktop will be provisioned based on master image will have this virtual delivery agent. It prepares basically that machine so that users which are connecting through Citrix receiver can access this image using ICA protocol or HDX connection. It registers this provision virtual machines, whether it's a server machine or it's a desktop machine. It registers that machine with delivery controller and get the pol get policy updates that you define using Citrix Studio. And this is the piece of software that you can say prepares your machine and make them ready so that the client can establish secure, high-speed, reliable connection to it, or secure high performance. I won't say high speed, though it optimizes the speed, but again, speed, something which depends on your connection, the, the way the users are connecting to. So it provides high performance, uh, you can say, uh, for, uh, for your connections. This is the software that you will install on physical desktop if you want the users to access those physical desktops. Let's see for remote access only, All right? Or you can install this on master images, your virtual master images or virtual machine master images so that you can, whenever you provision your desktops or Zenapp servers based on those virtual images, they will have this virtual delivery agent which will optimize them to accept client connections. One more thing which is not mentioned here is the hypervisor, of course. How machines will be provisioned if there is no hypervisor? They have to we have, have a hypervisor. And in Citrix, you have lots of choices. It could be VMware, vSphere, it could be Microsoft Hyper-V, or it could be Xan server. This slide, uh, this slide here, are, this is my lab setup of itsense.com. I have one server, XT1, or Xan desktop one. It's a part of itsense.com Active Directory domain, which is, which is hosted over here. This is my DC, the wind controller, which is also a DNS and DHCP server. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will install all components, delivery controller, studio, SQL, Microsoft SQL Server database, storefront, and licensing server and director on this machine called XD1. Then I will set up, <clears throat> sorry, uh, then I'll set up one uh, hypervisor server, uh, Zen server called XS1. And this Zen server will have two uh, master images. We will create two master images, one for desktops. And based on this master image, we will create pool desktops. And based on server master image, I will install Microsoft Office also. And based on this, we will provision one Zen app virtual server. And based on this Zen app, virtual server, we will publish Microsoft Office 2013 uh, for our clients. And based on this virtual desktop virtual image, we will publish desktops for our virtual clients. Also, you'll have one machine, we're running Zen Center, which is an application to manage your Citrix Zen server. And then you will have some clients, some Windows clients in my lab environment, where we will test the connectivity uh, and using Citrix receiver and Citrix receiver for web. So my clients will be using these softwares to connect to storefront and get access to virtual desktop, we'll connect to virtual desktop and test virtual desktop, as well as we'll connect to this Zen app server uh, these published applications that will be published through this 
this uh, Zenapp server. So we will test virtual desktop connectivity as well as published application. So this is our lab setup. All labs will be based on this lab topology. And at last, this slide, it's basically a comparison. I try to put a comparison. Those, it's some cases, it's not a direct one-to-one -one comparison. Some components do more, some components do less, but overall, this will give you an idea. If you have worked with VMware Horizon View, uh, this will make, then this slide will make things easier for you to understand Zen desktop in uh, setup. In Horizon View, you have something called View Connection Server and Composer. In uh, Zen Desktop, the equivalent for that is Delivery Controller, Storefront, and License Server. Horizon View Client, it's the client software in Horizon View. Here you have Citrix Receiver, which is a client software. Horizon View Agent that you installed on master images or on physical desktops to provide remote connections remote access connections. Here you have virtual delivery agent, where you install this, you install in the master images, as well as on physical desktop to provide remote access. Horizon View Administrator, web-based browser, or browser-based uh, console, browser-based uh, tool that allows you to manage your Horizon View environment. Here you have in Citrix, you have Citrix Studio, which is a console based, uh, as well as Citrix Director, which is a browser based. What they do, I have already explained in previous, uh, one of previous slide. Database, and yep. Here you have SQL database, and here you have Microsoft SQL database as well. Oops, sorry. Hypervisor, in Horizon View, you have to use vSphere, but in, Zen Desktop, you can use vSphere, Hyper-V, or Zen Server. And at last, View Security Server. You have in Horizon View environment, and here you have something called Netscaler, which is much, much more than View Security Server. And to be honest, this is not a real comparison. That's why I say View Security Server Plus, because Netscaler is a superset of View Security Server. It's do much, much more than what a view security server provides. So basically, this is it, gentlemen. This is like a comparison. So if you are familiar with Horizon View, uh, now you will know what the equivalent component in Zen Desktop. So it will be easy for you to understand Zen Desktop component. So this is it, the gentlemen. Uh, uh, I would like you to, I would like to thank you once again, and I'm looking forward to see you in another video. Please, please, please do subscribe. Thank you.